Good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome back to another episode of Unite with Food and Play. So, today's dish is pronounced Bacalo uh, con Podos. Uh, this is translated cod with everything. That's right. So, this is a common um, cod recipe in the Portuguese cuisine. Uh, it usually consists of a uh, piece of cod, uh, which is usually like left and drained overnight, but we're going to speed it up a little bit. Uh, cabbage, potatoes, carrots, and a boiled egg. That's right. And uh, so, yes, by color con todos, let's give it a go. Okay, so timing is everything with this. Um, so get yourself a big enough. Uh, pot or saucepan of boiling water so as you can see mine's boiling now already um, you know use a big one well, of big couple of pots or something if your saucepan's not big enough uh, I take her my mum's and she don't know about it so we don't have to um, and then I've got a saucepan just here um, to boil my eggs uh, so you know get your eggs boiling guys uh, you know depending um, how many people you're cooking for you might want to do four to six pieces of cod uh, or you know you might want to put a load of, load of vegetables in uh, I'm trying to save up on a bit of space I'm going to boil all the vegetables together and then obviously just take each individual each individual vegetable out um, as it's as it's been cooked it's obviously you know some are taking a little bit longer than others like the potatoes and obviously a nice pan a trusty pan it can't be a bad pan now Bad pans are like where they've just been scratched and stuff at the bottom. Uh, this is quite a big pan, but I love this pan. Uh, nothing sticks to it. And uh, so yeah, get yourself a good pan. So, sea salt for the water. Uh, I think in uh, some countries they say kosher salt, uh, but a similar one you'd be looking for Saxa salt, so Saxa sea salt. So obviously, we're just gonna season some of this in with our water, the boiling water. So, now I'm going to prepare all the vegetables. Um, fish takes be takes between two to two to four minutes because we're going to pan fry our fish, uh, our cod loins. Uh, but we'll get to that. So I'm going to make a start on the vegetables and get all the vegetables in the saucepan, and then we'll go from there. Just going to start preparing all the veg. Uh, peeling the carrots, uh, taking the ends off, cutting the potatoes in half, and uh, I suppose looking for the best cabbage leaves. So potato about that size, I might even cut them into three some of the potatoes, speed it up. Okay, so all my veg is a, you know, nice and trimmed, portioned up, cut up guys. Uh, potatoes went into halves, went into thirds, you know, if they're too big. So, like I said, timing is everything. Um, I'm not doing separate pots, I'm going to throw, throw everything in here. But I know, well, according to my times, that uh, potatoes take the longest, 12 to 15 minutes until tender. Um, carrots uh, range, you know, anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. I'm going to go with 10 minutes. And of course, cabbage, well, cabbage, 5 minutes. Uh, so yes, first time doing all this, throwing it all in, see how we get on. So, I'm just going to start timing everything. So, the sea salt's in there, the water's boiling, potatoes are going in first. Okay, so like I said, 12 to 15 minutes. My carrots will go in next, then my cabbage. Um, boiled egg, boiled egg's nearly done. Uh, I put that on uh, before everything for some reason. No idea why, but doesn't matter because you know, we'll let them stand and cool until we can peel it. Right, time for the cod. The cod, super simple guys, I got myself some olive oil, 
just enough, you know, to get around in the pan. Uh, you know, we want a bit of movement in there. We don't want to, don't want the fish sticking to the bottom. So, just enough. Right. So, what we're going to do is, so we've got our two cod loins just here. Let's remove that. Uh, we're going to season it with some salt and some pepper. So I've got this here in front of me, just on a dish. Not too much, just like I just did. <laughs> just threw it all on. Gently. We're not coating, we're just, you know, just, just nipping across it. You know, like going to the shop. Nipping, that kind of thing. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. Um, now for the salt. Both sides. My alarm's going off to put my final vegetable in, which is the cabbage. So I'm just going to put that in quickly. Wonderful. So, turn the sides. Bit of salt, bit of pepper, both sides. Try not to overcoat it in pepper like I did the first time. Nice and simple. If you want to get it, just rub it in. That's fine, some people prefer to do that. Now, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, just there, I've got two little, two little um, knobs of butter, but um, I'll get to that when I get a bit closer to the time. Right, here we go. So, pan's a little bit too hot, so I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit, okay? Don't want it so it's gonna go all over the place. It's quite dangerous. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna do my cabbage. Just make sure it's fully in the water. A little bit was hanging out. Looking forward to that cabbage. Don't worry, um, too much about putting too much cabbage in because it shrinks we all know it shrinks so uh, just just bear that in mind right so pan's just right now when you're putting your cod in okay always put it face down away from you okay so it's not going to start spitting at you so piece of cod face down nice and gentle okay and bearing in mind if you're cooking next to a vegetable pot next to me there'll be a chance where that's spitting some water. Now, you don't want the water spitting onto this because obviously it will cause, um, well, the oil will spit it and you don't want that because it'll burn your skin. So, same again, face down. Wonderful. So, depending on size, thickness of your cod loin, okay? Mine's reasonably thick, mine's about an inch. Um, I'm going to go anywhere between two to three minutes aside. Don't want to overcook it, okay? Um, hard to tell if the cod is cooked. Well, you can see just by looking at the sides, just at the sides of the fish. Obviously, you guys can't see the camera, but you know you can be full aware of it at home. Take a look at it, and it should start to go like a really white colour. That's when you know it's starting to cook. So, two to four minutes on your cod, and then just as we're about to flip. I'll uh, throw the butter in at the end. Lovely. Okay, so I've just flipped my cod. Be really careful because obviously cod's chunky. And it starts to uh, start, well, the big chunks in there, it just starts to like fall apart. Just be really careful when you're turning it over. So I've done, I did, well, I actually did three minutes one side, I'm doing three minutes this side. We're about two minutes in this side now. Now what I'm going to do is take these two little knobs of butter, just like so. Yeah. So you see the little two, two pieces of butter? What it's going to do, it's going to just create like a little river all the way through down there, okay? When that meets, 
we're going to throw in our uh, lemon juice. Now, I'm a bit annoyed because I didn't buy a fresh lemon, but I have got some lemon juice, okay? And if I want to get really, you know, fancy, I'll just squeeze a little bit of lime in there, okay? We've got a lime, all good. Okay, so that butter's starting to connect in the center. Okay, so the butter's just gonna help it give it that, you know, golden finish, uh, that nice look. You know, when you go to restaurants and stuff and you think, oh, I wish I could cook like this. Uh, so yeah, this is the butter's job. And of, of course, depending what butter you've got, you know, like a salted butter or something, it's all gonna add to the taste. It's gonna taste delicious, believe me. Right, so we're met in the middle now. The river's gone through. I'm just gonna put some lemon juice through the centre of that. And of course, our fancy lime. Bit of fancy lime juice. Just squeeze the butt of the lime. I'm sure you guys have a cup of fresh lemon at home. So yeah, we're gonna give that one more minute. And this will be this will be lovely to serve guys. My vegetables vegetables are about done, my boiled eggs done. And then we're just gonna serve this up onto a plate. Okay, so we're finally here guys, everything's cooked. Um, do you know what? I could have cooked the egg a little bit better. Uh, the amount of boiled eggs and stuff I've cooked in my life and for some reason I couldn't get it right today. Never mind, got there in the end. Uh, vegetables, like I said, timing's everything. I chose to boil all my vegetables together. Uh, well, you know, just to save on saucepans really. Uh, so it was about timing. Uh, obviously potatoes went in first, carrots second, cabbage after. Um, and then obviously we made a start on the cod. Cod's ready. Um, obviously not professional, but uh, as soon as the cod's ready, as soon as it's pan fried, you could leave it to stand for like an extra two minutes just to, uh, you know, because it's still cooking on the inside. So I was told. Right, let's put this camera down a little bit. So, here we go. So, as you can see, got my vegetables and stuff just here. Just gonna really carefully try and take out this cod. It looks absolutely delicious. It smells amazing. Now, if you had any residue from the cod, you know we threw that bit of butter and stuff at the end, if you want to add that, you know, all over it kind of thing, you know, for a bit more flavour, you're welcome to do so. So obviously now, if you want to get Proper, it's about presentation, uh, you know, making everything look nice. I'll try and get a photo for you guys. Okay. I've ch I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a knife and, sorry, I couldn't find a knife, just cut my egg in half. Now we'll see how good this egg is. I feel like it's gonna let me down. course my boiled egg. <clears throat> so this would be the stage now where they'd have some uh, garlic enriched uh, olive oil. Uh, we didn't do that today, uh, I'm not a big fan of it, uh, but you know if you want to season with some olive oil, you know when you've got your proper salad jars, bit of dressing, uh, you know some, some black pepper, uh, you know, we've got your fresh parsley, put some parsley on it if you want to. Um, this dish might be even nicer, you know, with some kind of, um, is it hollandaise sauce or something? You could try some hollandaise sauce, some creamy sauce on top of fish, but then you've got to think, you know, if we're, if we're having it with egg, is it worth it? Uh, fresh parsley. Um, but yeah, so this is the Bacala Col Todos. Get a photo for you guys at the end. Let's, um, let's put the camera up. Okay. Um, feel free to give it a try. Uh, you know, take some videos, do some photos, uh, post them all to the Unite with Food group, and you know we can all talk about it, see what people did differently, things like that. Um, also, be sure to check out the um, the activity sport with me and James uh, that corresponds to the, this dish. 
I believe it's um, Portugal, so I believe it will be football. So have a look out for that uh, quick video uh, on activities you guys can do at home. And I will see you all soon.